I was almost 16 because I started April 30th, 1974. She tells my age. And we only had McDonald's, Dairy Queen, and Randy's in town. So I applied at Dairy Queen and they didn't want to hire me. So I went to McDonald's and they hired me. Conley Pios was the operator that owned Main Street McDonald's. I was just hired as a regular worker. Started at $1.65 an hour. Worked in the grill. We did everything back then. We didn't have registers that added up the food. We had a hand, hand add all the products, which was probably about six at the time. Figure out the tax in our head, make change. Um, when we worked on the grill, it was by sight. As far as cooking, um, we used a spindle to make the shakes, pour the ice cream in and use a spindle to make the shakes. And um, yeah, a lot of stuff was just done by hand. I, I recall it would be the hamburger, the cheeseburger, the Big Mac, of course, the filet of fish, um, quarter pounder with cheese. And I believe the Egg McMuffin was introduced that year also. My uniform was nylon, um, scratchy. Um, we all wore hats, the boys wore paper hats. And then we changed uniforms as the years went on. We went with the green and then we went with the blue. At one point I wore a dress that looked like Heidi the Hill. When I worked um, in the lobbies, um, I did birthday parties. Um, but we did, every, the women did as much, if not more than the guys, to be honest with you, because we unloaded the trucks, did the filtering, everything. Yes, we made the special Big Mac sauce right in-house. We, um, same with the tartar sauce, put it in these big kettles and had to stir them up. And then we had to put them into tubes and push down the ends to get the air out. So you had to be a little strong to do that, but that was an adventure. We had the Speedy logo at the beginning on the very first McDonald's. Did, when you started, did they have a drive through No. Because they didn't have cars. We, thank you. There were no cars. Um, we actually were one of the first stores that they put the drive through in. So I was there for part of that, and that was very scary. Um, just because you had to wear a headset and, you know, take these orders, and then they drive up, and yeah, it was... It was quite the experience. Um, I probably did birthday parties and special events at the store. We had um, breakfast with Santa, and breakfast with the Easter Bunny and all that. So I probably did that over probably 15 years. Well, when they bought the stores in 1990, it was the, it was the two stores in West Bend. And then um, Steve asked if I wanted to work in his office, which was in his basement at his house. Um, so that's where I went every day. And we, I was probably there working in his basement. I think we got our first office. I had to have been there five, six years in the basement. And it wasn't really a basement. It was their office. Yeah, it's definitely family. Um, because when you apply for a job, it's like, okay, you have a job. But McDonald's is an awesome brand, first of all, to work, work for. But when the Killians took over, that was definitely family. And um, I watched Stevie grow up because he was six. Um, and now he's my boss and an operator. And um, when Debbie would run out, I'd have to watch him and his brother plus work and tell Stevie to quit beating up his, beating up Chris. So they were like my kids. What does retirement hold, Sharon? Well, We've got the four kids that are married, so we've got nine grandchildren. And um, when COVID's over, I am hoping to spend a lot of time with them and um, go to their events at school and take, we have a place up north and um, I don't want to miss out on stuff with the kids. When you tell people, or when people hear 47 and a half years at one employer, what kind of comments do you get for that? Um, usually, wow, and wow, that's rare, or why. And um, that's, you know, that's 
easy to say because I love it. I, I do love it. This is very hard. Well, like anybody, me and my husband, we talk about it. And Ken's at his job over 47 years too. And, uh, but once the grandkids started coming and, you know, they invited us to grandparents day and we just weren't able to go or, um, they have concerts and stuff. And, and we only have one family in West Bend. The other two are in Wisconsin yet, but then we got the one in Texas. So we need to, uh, I need to be out there and help them with their yards. And I like to can, so if I wanted to, um, I can say thank you, but I'll, I won't say goodbye. I'll I have a lot of memories of all the Killians and, um, if there was anybody, any boss or owner that you'd want to work for, um, this would be the place to come.